it can be birds it can be cars or anything that exists in real world all these entity we can call as an object today we will learn object oriented programming or ops concept ops basically based on this six concept object class encapsulations abstractions inheritance polymorphism so today we will learn all these six concept with some real world example so our first concept is object so what is object so in object oriented programming object is nothing but any real world entity what it's mean any real world entity mean anything that exist in real world so it can be employee it can be fruits it can be animal it can be birds it can be cars or anything that exist in real world all these entity we can call as an object now if you think all this object has some its properties and also some of its behavior so take an example let's say animal so it has some name it has some color and also it has some behavior like its noise similarly if we take employee so employee can have some name it has some employee id it has some behavior right so any real world entity is called object and object have some its states or its called properties and also has its some behavior now all this behavior of an object can be defined in a template and this template or this blueprint is called class in objected oriented programming what is mean what is template what is blueprint so let's take this example so fruits so you can see in this diagram fruits have some properties or data or some field called is name and color similarly fruits has some behavior or method called as test right so if you consider this fruits or if we consider any instance of food let's say this is a instance of fruit so we have a blueprint we have a you know template of fruits and if we take a instance mango so this fruits name is mango what its color color is green what is taste so is taste it's let's say sweet so you can see in our objected oriented programming we have a class and this class instance is nothing but our object now let's go to the next concept so you can see it's called encapsulations so if you check this real world example this is nothing but a capsule which basically wrapping multiple material in one cap so that's why it's a capsule so similarly this concept used in objected oriented programming which we call encapsulations which is a process of wrapping up data or properties and method or behavior that we just learn for class template or object so this process this encapsulation process actually wrapping this data or properties and method or behavior in a single unit called class so this encapsulation's real world example is a capsule now coming to the next concept that is called abstractions so think about that when you go to any atm so you can withdraw your money you can print mini statement right but do you really have to think about the background process no right you put some instructions on atm and it give you money you put some instructions on atm and it's print some mini statement 
so this concept is called a uh, abstractions in object oriented programming what's mean so you think about this withdrawal or print mini statement here you don't have to bother about the background logic right so abstractions is nothing but representing essential features without including the background and the same thing we can see in our atm machine right so this atm machine is a real world example of objected oriented programming abstractions concept now coming to the next concept which is called inheritance so let's take this diagram so let's say bird and bird have two type one is flying bird one is swimming bird now birds can have properties like name and color and this flying bird or swimming bird basically inherit these two properties name and color and also it has its own property like flying speed and for swimming bird swimming speed so it's mean flying bird has its own properties flying speed and also it inherits the other two properties from its parent which is called name and colors same for the swimming birds so what it's mean so it is nothing but a inheritance and an inheritance is a process by which one class can acquire the property of other class so if we take these a blueprint template or class if, if we take these two as a template blueprint or class so you can see here this class or this class inherits the properties of this class so this is nothing called a inheritance concept in object oriented programming now coming to the next concept so in this next concept this is called polymorphism so before going to this definition just check this diagram we have an animal and it has a behavior called sound or we can say noise now animal of these two type one is dog and one is cat both can sound both can noise but their based on their type their voice can be different so dog has different voice and similarly cat has its different voice so that's mean they have the same behavior sound but based on their type execute differently so this is nothing but or this concept is nothing but a polymorphism so polymorphism means ability to take more than one form or in other terms we can say we can say different behavior in different instance so the behavior of sound for this instance that is called dog is different and similarly for cat the sound is different so different behavior in different instance so this is nothing but polymorphism i believe this video has helped you to understand about the topic thank you for watching please do subscribe click on the bell notifications and select all so that you don't miss any video from this channel